The hill I was heading out because uh, I got a cow that's calved. Looks like Peter's beating me to it. Go take a look and see what's going on. And I got another. I actually got another one calving in the barn. Heifer. <laughs> Who is that? 1,040. 1, Here I was watching it from inside and mm -hmm. I, uh, this must be uh, 88 East. You want inside cabin too? Yeah, 27 each. Oh, that's a good size. Pardon me? Yep. Yeah. Start from the head, preferably. I was trying to figure out who it was from inside, but I couldn't figure out who it was that was calving because I couldn't read the tag, obviously. But I was watching the other one, and then I went to the outside camera. I'm like, oh, we got a water bag. So I've been watching both. But the one inside is... Uh... Not this fast? I know. No, she's finally settled down to start pushing, but... I don't think you would have had to pull. Hey, Peter, it came out really easy. Uh, I she wish you would have had it if she would You just wanted to help? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. That's a good one. Make sure Most... the face is always clean. <laughs> feel pretty silly if you calf dive in front of you because you didn't get the face clean. <laughs> yeah, because you are trying to be patient. Yeah. But when I left the inside of the house to put my stuff on, the head wasn't even out yet. It was just the nose, so it must have gone really fast yeah, at the I end. Did. All right, so we got in the middle there, we got Dylan's heifer that he bought off of Peter Penner. She's calving. Feed her out. <clears throat> Bag still intact, so me and Peter are going to hang out in the barn here until she gets this thing out. And that'll be number two during the lunch hour. So yeah, two during the day. We actually haven't had... We haven't had a whole lot of calves that have calved during the night in the last little while. Now, of course, tonight we're probably going to have a bunch, but the last little while, a lot of our calving has been first thing in the morning to roughly noon, so it's a lot nicer that way. And we're going to see if we can help this heifer out, just get the rest of it out. She's been at this spot for a while, and I don't want her to get too too tired. was hoping to help her right there. I got one chain on. We're going to put her in the maternity pen and... Uh, just help her out. All right, sweetie. There we go. Perfect. Hold that one for a sec. Yeah, this will not be hard. You want to put a little pressure in there? Yeah. This won't take much, I don't think. Good job. Keep pulling that, Peter. I'm not even going to get the second chain on. Alright. Yeah. We'll just help. Just keep putting pressure on. Yeah. You push, we push. There we go. One more good push. And then get that head out. There we go. Alright, let's go. Done. What do we got here? Dylan's got to have her. Okay, I'll let her out. Just get, uh, close that gate. First, there we go. Okay, oh, yeah, you can let her out now. Well, this is Dylan's heifer. She had a nice little heifer calf. Very yellow, and the hair right here 
you can see it's just starting to get dry. And, uh, oh dear. Okay, babe, you're, you need to get up. Okay, up, up you go. Um, okay, up. You wanna close that front gate? Just pull, no, the, the head gate. Just close it so she doesn't go through. I'll give her a couple seconds here and then uh, she should have been able to do that one on her own. But it's out and it's alive. Okay, I think we've given you enough. Let's go, you gotta get up, okay? Watch yourself, I'm gonna turn her this way. There we go. Okay, now you can get to work. Lick your calf. You want to get out of there and then we'll see what she does. Okay, she's a heifer. Heifers often don't know. Take some of it sometimes. Some are good, some aren't. So we'll let them be. It's not cold. The calf should be fine. So we got another live one. That's two in the last hour or less. Okay. This calf is about 45 minutes old and wanting to steal from other calves. <laughs> so we're gonna try and walk this pair into the barn. Very active. So hopefully the mom is good. Let's go. Let's go, come on. You gonna follow? Come. Mama hasn't done a very good job of licking it. Good thing it's not cold outside. Come. Oh, some cows are just not very smart. Go to your baby, please. You can do it. <clears throat> Let's go. Around the corner, there's your baby. You can go in the barn. Sure, you want to leave? One goes in, one comes out. fast this calf is running around. That's pretty uh... All right, let's go in there. Follow your mom. In. Don't be dumb. Why does she have to be dumb? There you go. Try it again there, sweetie. Let's go, come on. Wow. It's like she doesn't want to be in this one. <clears throat> Sheesh. Okay, hopefully they can bond. And in this corner we got uh, the newest one. Calf has been standing and the mom has been doing a great job, so. I'll let you them be. There, that calf's sucking already. Well, that didn't take long. Or I shouldn't say she's sucking, but she's in the right area. Time to go in and finish lunch and then me and Peter are gonna try Changing some tracks out on the quad tracks, switching them around, so. Yep, 
two to more down. Okay, Peter went back, uh, he went home for lunch. He's gonna be getting back here shortly. He got this track off just before lunch. He was playing around with this. He figured out how to do this. We've never, we've never taken tracks off ourselves. That got done, that's been done by, uh, when we put those tracks on new, the dealership did that. We've never done it. But we wanna take all four tracks off of this track, this quad track, and switch them with that quad track, because those tracks are new and that tractor is leaving. Yeah, we're wanting to get this done because our the, the new tractor, or new to us tractor is uh, uh, available. So we are wanting to get this job done. I don't think it'll take too bad once we get a rhythm. Once we get a rhythm going, I think it we'll, uh, shouldn't be too bad, so. Hey, so Peter had gone to McGregor. Friends of ours had made this awesome jack. Made out of two cylinders, hooks up to the back of the quad track. So from the tractor, we can lift it up. Is that where you're at? Yeah, well, and I can just lift it up and just lock it too. Perfect. If I, if I start up and lift it as high as I can. Okay. Lock it. And then what we gotta do is we gotta take these outside bogey wheels off. Release the pressure of the track. And it just comes off, just like that.
Okay, well, that was a little less than 25 minutes from taking this track off and moving it over. That's pretty good. So an hour, right? An hour, yeah, we should be able to do all four in an hour. <clears throat> I know we're good, Peter, but I don't think we're that good. Oh, well, me and Peter were working on the tracks. We got down to one track left and we had some problems. So uh, it's just about quitting time. And we said enough is enough. So anyway, I came out here to check. I thought I had a cow calving and came out and sure shooting, she was done. So I had moved her into the barn. You know, I was pretty puzzled with the, its appearance. It's a very uh, red cow, and it had a very white-faced calf, so... And the sire of this calf is Gateway, our shorthorn bull. So, uh, that actually could be, now that I say this, this actually could be... Neighbor Glenn's Hereford bull, maybe, is the sire. Anyway, another calf on the ground. That calf right there is number 100. So, we got, uh, I think, 34 left to go. So, going good. 100 done. 34 to go. We're going to bring a couple heifers in. It's beautiful outside right now. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for taking time to watch. Have yourself a good one.